Hi folks, just a really quick one today talking about how to find backwards compatible games on both the Xbox Store and on Game Pass. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I've actually been asked about this several times in the comments of some of my other videos. So evidently some people are having trouble finding backwards compatible games to either download on Game Pass or to purchase from the store. So first things first, let's just talk about the store. As you can see here, I've got the store up, but normally you could go in by hitting the Xbox guide button or whatever you call it, and you could go down to the bottom here and select store. So let's just do that. And we go into the store. Now, we're actually in the store home at the moment, but if you're not, you would click on, go to the left home and click on store home. And then once you're in the store home, you can go down to games and we've got games, game pass, console accessories and all the rest of it, <coughs> excuse me. But what you want is games. And uh, if you look on the top right hand corner, it says show all. And then it says to select the X button on your controller to show all. So let's just do that. And once you're into show all, you actually got various options. And it says most played games, top free games, game demos, best rated games, new games, coming soon, and there you go, backwards compatible. So this is the backwards compatible game. So now you can go in and you can download these games or buy these games and download them from the store. Obviously, there's only a few on show here though. So again, if you want to see all of them, as you can see in the top right hand corner again, you've got show all or in this case, show all 559. So select X on your controller and it will bring up all the backwards compatible games that are available on the store. Now, I personally would rather be able to organize this a bit better and uh, I'd like to be able to separate out the original Xbox games from the 360 games, but at least they are here. So uh, that's something. Um, the other thing as well is if you go into a game, let's find a game I like. What's a good game? Oh, there's several here. But anyway, let's just choose Burnout Revenge because I really like that one. If you press the A button on your Xbox controller, it will bring up the game and you can buy it from there. You can add it to your basket or you can add it to your wish list. So I'm going to add it to my wish list. And then it's on my wish list for future reference. So if I want to go in and find it quickly, I can go to my, my wish list. And as you can see here, it says view wish list or view list. I can go in and I can view my list. And as you can see, Burnout Revenge is there. So if I go back home, let's just go to store home. And I wanted to go next time I wanted to go in and I, and I was like, oh, Burnout Revenge. I uh, wanted to uh, download that. I wanted to buy that and play it. Go to home and then down to wish list. And there it is still in your wish list. And uh, I'm going to remove it because I've already got Burnout Revenge. But there you go. And that is basically how you find games on the store or backwards compatible games on the store. What about Game Pass though? Well, Game Pass is a bit of a palaver and uh, I ran into this problem myself. If you go into the Game Pass app, and I've got it up here, but normally you would go into My Games and Apps and then you would go down to Apps and down to G for Game Pass app, or game, the Game Pass app. Xbox Game Pass. If I bring that up, you would think you could find the backwards compatible games from there. But um, no, you can keep looking to your heart's content. You can find uh, <laughs> games with gold, but where are the backwards compatible games? I certainly couldn't find them here. And uh, if we go all the way to the top again, if we go into show all, it just gives us a, a, a list of all the games. Now, obviously, there are going to be some <laughs> backwards compatible games there, but um, it's not a very good way of finding it because it's all mixed up. So how do you do it? Well, you don't actually want to be in the app. What you want to do, let's go home again. You want to go down to my games and apps. And then you want to go down to full library. 
and then across to Xbox Game Pass and select that. Now, if you look on the top here, it's got ready to install, sort by A to Z, and then filter. Now, obviously, you're going to be looking for games that you don't already have installed on your system, or normally you would. So you would select ready to install. Now, you can go into sort by A to Z and select console type, and then you would be able to find some of the backwards compatible games that way. But there seemed to be some sort of glitch there in as much as it was only showing 10 games when I did it that way. A much better way of doing it would be to go into filter. So if we go to filter, all console types, and then if you go all the way to the bottom, Xbox 360 and Xbox games. Select done. And as you can see here, we've got all the backwards compatible games that are currently available to download from Game Pass. And uh, there's rather more than 10 there. So I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. You can, uh, you can just download it from there. So uh, if you select Brutal Legends, and it just says Install. As you can see, we've got various options. Add to Play Later, Go to the Official Club, Share, Add to Home. So uh, you'd normally want Install. But that, basically, is how you find backwards compatible games on both the Xbox Store and Game Pass. And uh, hopefully that was some use to somebody out there. Uh, I know, like I say, I had some problems finding some of the Game Pass games myself, and I do think there are a couple of glitches in the system with finding them. So, you know, like, like I say, some games showing up in some areas not showing in others. So there are a few little teething problems there, but that's basically how you go about doing it. So anyway, as I say, I hope that's some use to somebody. Uh, let me know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if it is useful to you. And uh, if it is useful to you, go and check out some of my other videos because I do a few videos like this one. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.